Hi, this is Corey Jones, Garden Girl here at Two Peas in a Bucket, and I'm here to bring you the next installment of 213 in 2013, a weekly series where each Monday, myself and a team of three other garden girls will bring you a weekly video. With each video, you will get four to five creative prompts for a total of 213 creative prompts by the end of 2013. When provided with some sort of a challenge, I always find myself having an easier time creating and I hope that you will find these prompts to help you as well. I started by gathering some of my favorite lines and supplies. I love Crate Paper's new 14 line and of course Dear Lizzie's Fifth and Frolic. I got Mist from Heidi Swap, Wood Veneer from Freckled Fawn, and lots of different kinds of washi tape. I also of course pulled out all of my favorite glitter thickers. This brings me to my very first prompt, which is to start with a blank slate. You might think that any plain background or any background would be a blank slate, but I'm talking about really starting with something that's blank, plain neutral background, something that you can make your own. I usually like to start with white or craft, vanilla, or maybe a very neutral pattern paper, but here I'm gonna start with white so I can truly do what I want to the background. Now that you've got your blank slate, it's time for prompt number two, which is to get messy with mists. This picture of my daughter I took with my iPhone. Then I ran it through different camera apps and got some really cool effects on it. With those effects, it came out with some neat color highlights with blues, yellows, and hot pinks. So I pulled out mists that would work with those different colors. I'm not gonna spray these mists. Instead, I'm going to use them to draw with. So I've unscrewed the top and what I'm doing is just drawing the shape of a heart on, directly onto my background paper. It's okay at this point to let it splatter and kind of get different places because it's supposed to look imperfect. It's supposed to look hand-drawn. Once I'm finished with my first color, which was mustard, I'm going to use primrose, which is a really pretty pink, to just kind of add some highlights, depth, and dimension into my hand-drawn heart. I end up getting kind of messy at this point and really having it splatter and do other things. I just think it makes it look a lot more fun. At this point, my heart looks pretty cool, but I wanted to add some polka dots to it, so the easiest way to do that is to use a mask and to spray on. I concentrated the spray right in the center of the heart because I really want it to have a faded look as it moved away from the center. Lastly, I took a look at my photo and noticed the blue highlights that were around the edges. To pick up some of that blue, I just unscrewed the top of the blue mist and just flicked it so that little droplets of blue would be around the page. So here I was looking at my page thinking, you know what, it just needs a little bit more pink. So here I am adding a little bit extra. It's always easy to do when you started with a blank slate. Now that my background is done, it's time for prompt number three, which is to forget your paper trimmer. Once I start building my page up from the background, I never need a paper trimmer anymore. I only use them to trim my photos. I find that using scissors is just more freeing and it allows me to be a lot more creative because I don't feel restricted by the straight lines. So here I am just eyeballing the size for, my, for the mat that I need for this photo. This is the time when I start feeling like I get more and more creative with my page. I added a heart doily underneath my pattern paper photo mat. I also cut out the word love on my cameo, which is going to be part of my title. And I added a strip of paper cut out from a piece of pattern paper that says, this makes me ridiculously happy, which of course my girl, she does. Now I want to add a couple of wood veneer pieces from Freckled Fawn. I pull out two arrows. One says love, the other says you, and I lay them down where I think I'm going to want them on my layout. I haven't glued anything down at this point at all. I'm just trying to get a good idea of the placement of everything beforehand. I was never really into the color pink before I started scrapbooking, but once I started scrapbooking, it seemed like it became my favorite color. Now, I can't even imagine having a layout that doesn't have some sort of pink on it somewhere. Maybe it's because I have girls and they like to wear pink and so I'm always trying to coordinate but it always seems to work. What I'm doing here is just adding 
some pink photo corners to underneath my photo just to give it a little bit more pink on there and really bring out that hot pink of her jacket. This is the day book from Dear Lizzie's Fifth and Frolic collection. I've taken the spirals out and used it before um, because I just really like the little papers in there. So here all I'm doing is going through the day book and pulling out the papers that I like the most. Now it's time for me to start putting all this together. This is my favorite paper. I love this bottom area with the gold heart and the stripe. And I'm realizing now that I need all of this underneath. So I'm thinking it's about time that I start sticking some of this stuff down. Now that I have my photo stacked with a bunch of the different papers underneath it, it's time for my fourth prompt, which is to use some washi tape. Washi tape is a lot of fun. You can use it as a part of layering. You can use it as tape. Um, here I'm just going to layer some right underneath so a little bit peeks out from under my photo. And then I'm going to layer a second color just on top of that a little bit. Just to add a little bit of color, a little bit of pop right underneath that photo. Of course the one is in my favorite pink so just add to that some more. It's time for me to finish up my title now. The title of this page is going to be Love Her, and I'm going to use these great magenta colored glitter thickers in this awesome font. When I have a title that's partly cut out on my cameo and partly thickers, I like to kind of overlap. The flatness and then the dimension of the thickers just work really well together, and I think you can still see the, the flat part of the title underneath the thickers well. Now that my title's done, it's time for me to start adding some embellishments here and there. So I've added this camera and I'm securing it with my tiny attacher. Then a little button at the end of the word her. Then some more washi tape across the top. I'm going to layer two different colors. Next, I like to always add my daughter's initials to the page. So someday when I'm old, I'll know which kid is which some glitter flowers and a date stamp so I've got the date on there and these little craft heart stickers are great and then I found a green one that matches the love so that works well too I'm not a huge journaler but I did want to add something so I wrote just seeing her adorable face makes me smile but looking at it, I still felt like it wasn't all the way finished. So I went and got some green mist, some more of the green Heidi Swap mist, and just added it here and there in a couple places just to kind of bring out those green lights in the photo and then also in the title. And with that green, it looks to me like my layout is finished. And that's it for this week's 213 in 2013. Now you have four more prompts to keep you challenged this week. Start with a blank slate, to get messy with mists, to forget about your paper trimmer, and to use those hordes of washi tape we all have. So for your challenge this week, I hope you will use any of these prompts and submit them to our challenge. This is Corey Jones, Garden Girl at Two Peas in a Bucket. I hope you have a great week.